During this time of uncertainty with COVID-19, it's no surprise people are dealing with much added stress. Unfortunately, that can cause health problems, including hemorrhoid flare-ups. According to Harvard Health, more than 75% of people ages 45 and older have had hemorrhoids with symptoms like rectal pain, itching, and bleeding after a bowel movement. Joining me now with more is Dr. Alex Crean from Memorial Hospital. Dr. Crean, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, Zach. Thank you for having me. For those of us not familiar with hemorrhoids, what are they and what causes them? That's a great question. I think one of the, the biggest barriers to care that people have is kind of the embarrassment factor. And I try to reassure them that actually we all have hemorrhoids. You know, it's part of the natural mechanism to help us control when we have bowel movements. Um, so it's really just blood vessels, you know, in that in anatomic area that, um, that contribute to our natural continence. And then when people quote unquote have hemorrhoids, you know, it's when they're having symptoms, like you mentioned already. And when you say all people have them, I know we just quoted a number of, uh, people older than the age of 45, but you're saying younger people, regardless of their sex, can have hemorrhoids as well. That's it, yeah. There's really no predisposition um, between gender. And then young people, older people, it depends on a lot of your, um, your bowel habits, your bathroom habits, what you do for work. Uh, like you mentioned, stress is a big component of it as well. And then constipation issues. Are hemorrhoids something you can feel coming on, an onset before they come to fruition? Uh, definitely, definitely. You know, depending on if you're having some type of change in bowel habits, um, the symptoms can gradually worsen over time, but there are some patients that can have really an acute flare up and it can kind of come all of a sudden as well. Dr. Green, tell me this, what can people do? What should people do if they feel them coming on or if they notice they have them? Okay. Uh, that's a great question. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that patients can just do on their own or with their primary care. Um, they can really focus on avoiding constipation, uh, trying to avoid any unnecessary straining. So if you've been doing a lot of heavy lifting, um, avoid that as much as possible. And then also increase your daily fiber intake, either just with um, fruits and vegetables or with a fiber supplement. Drinking plenty of fluid, is that something recommended? Absolutely. By health professionals, yeah. Absolutely. The more water you can drink, um, the better it will be for the hemorrhoids. Go as soon as you feel the urge. I'm reading that as I'm speaking to you. If you wait to pass a bowel movement and the urge goes away, your stool could dry and that become uh, that com that becomes harder to pass. Is that correct? That, that's a good point. Um, you know, I really try to counsel patients on what's called I just call good bathroom habits. So if you feel the urge to go, you know, give it a try. But on the flip side, not to force anything. So I try to really, you know, in the age now with the iPhone and iPad. I try to counsel patients not to bring that stuff into the restroom with you, you know, just do you, what you have to do. And then um, that's really, you know, the only time you should spend in there and avoid any unnecessary straining. Oh, that's very interesting. Great advice. What else should people be doing? At what point should folks go to the doctor, seek medical attention for their hemorrhoids? Uh, um, you know, when the symptoms really become uh, affecting your quality of life, I think that's what hemorrhoid treatment's all about. You know, it's not about what they look like. People are worried how big they are, how small they are. If you're having symptoms, you know, we can, we can change that with treatment, either medical treatment or surgical treatment. Um, and then if people are having bleeding especially, if you're getting to that age where it's time for a colonoscopy, it's something that should get checked out because there's always a small chance it could be something else other than hemorrhoids. And before I let you go, I want to comment on two things. Exercising and avoid sitting for long periods. Absolutely. I agree with both of those. Exercising, just being active. It doesn't have to be strenuous, even just walking on a daily basis. And then prolonged sitting, if you can avoid it. You know, unfortunately, we've been sitting a lot, uh, sitting around a lot with the coronavirus pandemic. But if you can get up and about, um, and just to reassure people as well, um, at Memorial Hospital with our group, that we're taking a lot of precautions for screening and prevention to make sure that we're as safe as possible. And if people are interested in that screening and those preventative uh, tips and measures, where can they go to find out more information? Um, you can come to our office. Uh, you can go to memorialhospitaljacksonville.com or our other website, masjax.com as well, MassJax. Dr. Cream, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us this morning. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend.